In this short demonstration, I'll show you how to solve a linear system when the terms are fractions. The first thing you have to do in a situation where you have two equations and two unknowns with fractions is that you have to get rid of the fractions. Let's start off with this equation, 2, 3, and 6. What I've done is I've written down these denominators, 2, 3, and 6, and what I'll do is I'll try to find multiples of all three. Multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, and so on. Multiples of 3 are 3, 6, and 9. And multiples of 6 are 6, 12, and 18. And what you have to do is you have to find a commonality between all three. You'll notice that what's in common is a 6. With this number, we will then multiply this whole fraction by 6. What this will do is it will make our linear equation very easy to work with. Let me demonstrate what I mean. 6 times this phantom 1 here is 6 divided by 2 is 3. We write down 3x. 6 times 1 divided by 3 is 2y. And 6 times 5 is 30 divided by 6 is equal to 5. We'll do the exact same thing with the next equation. We'll write down the denominators, 4 and 2, and we will find out multiples of both, 4, 8, 12, 2, 4, 6. As soon as you find a commonality, you can stop. The common number is 4, so we'll multiply this whole thing by 4. And we end up with 1 times 1 divided by 4 is 1x, or you can simply write x. 4 times 1 divided by 2 is negative 2y. And 4 times 7 divided by 4 is equal to 7. So now we have our two equations that we can now work with, and we can use any method to solve for x and y. We can use a calculator. We can use elimination. We can use substitution. The best method here would be to use addition. So what I'll do next is I'll rewrite them out so you can see them clearly. When it comes to the elimination method, we have to eliminate one of the variables. Now since this 2 and this 2 are similar, we can start by eliminating the y's. What I'll do is write, I'll write out this number, plus 2, and this number, minus 2. And I have to find a way where when we add or subtract it, it becomes 0. So what could I do here? Should I add or subtract these two numbers? If you chose addition, you're correct. So I'll add them up, 4x, and we just determined that this, these two would become 0, is equal to 5 plus 7, which is 12. We solve for x, and we end up with 12 over 4, which is equal to 3. To find our y, we need to use any one of these four equations. Usually you pick the equation that's easiest to work with, and the one that's easiest to work with are the ones with the smaller numbers. This one appears to be the easiest one. So I'll substitute this 3 into that x, and I'll just rewrite that equation for clarity's sake. And I'll substitute this 3 into there. That's equal to 3. Minus 2y is equal to 7. And I'll solve for y here by bringing this over. Remember, this equals to 3. By bringing this over, 7 plus 3 becomes minus 3. We end up with 4, negative 2y. We solve for y here by dividing both sides by negative 2, and we end up with negative 2. I'll write down my answer clearly, negative 2 and 3. And there you have it. That is how you solve a linear system where the coefficients are fractions. If you have any questions related to this or any math or science or any subject that you need help with, use our website at biology-forums.com. It is a free service for students. See you soon.